Hi guys and welcome to the third video in this set of tutorials. Uh, this episode is going to show you how to add some uh, special effects uh, to your video and at the end I'm just going to show you another way to add a transition. Some of the built-in transitions of course they aren't just ways of moving between, they're actually quite nice little uh, clips. This one is going to show you how to add a special effect first. The most important thing when you add a special effect is that bear in mind you add an effect uh, it will last for the entire length of a clip so to make a short effect for maybe a few seconds long or a couple of minutes long you must split your clip. That split clip is probably one of the most important parts of making these videos. Once you get used to the mechanics of this you'll see what I mean. So I've started uh, the beginning of that split clip at a 2, 46, 2 minutes 46 seconds there and I only want this to be a very short uh, special effect so I want to keep the clip length to just a couple of seconds long um, as you can see I'm just trying to find about the right place where I want to uh, end the the split of that clip um, I'm gonna I want to add another little effect Im almost immediately after so I'm gonna split the clip one more time so these effects they will last for the entire length of each of those split sections of this clip uh, as I said before in the previous videos you can play the the clips all the way through with splits in them you won't notice the difference if it's just playing normally or render exactly the same way it would if you hadn't split it um, uh, there's another effect I want to add but this is to add another transition just after I get completely blown up and destroyed so I just am looking for the point where I want that uh, to end but what you can do this trimmed clip from before you can actually extend it the the system will remember uh, the entire length of your video so you can go back trim the clip and actually re-extend uh, the clip length if you want to add a few more seconds to the end of your video just to make it a bit more effective or at least to just contain something that you didn't have before even just give you a bit more time to to talk whatever you need to do um, the system has uh, remembered the entire project the entire uh, video that you recorded of your gameplay you can add in you can take sections out you can re-add the whole thing is very very versatile um, there isn't any particular uh, limitation there. So as you can see, I've just split that uh, uh, the entire clip, that one section there again, just at that point where I blow up. So now we go back to the very first split that I made. What I want to do now is add a effects. So if remember, press the X button to add anything. Here you can add an effects. You've got several options on the left hand side. You can add um, text as you can see there's various sizes of text. You are limited to these sizes, you can't shrink them or grow them but there at least are enough options to uh, allow you to squeeze in stuff. There's layouts there, the entire section of that clip will be shown in that layout. The filter here, there's a couple of cool little filters you can add, you can black and white sepia, you can add some colored edges, make it look like a, a neon sign. These theme stickers, um, they come along with each theme that you pick as you start your project um, but you've got this, uh, the top here you've got these stickers. These, these stickers are basically static objects that will hold for the, in position for the length of your clip when you apply them. Now the one I want to look at, as you can see there's loads to pick from. You can have a lot of fun with these, you can put them wherever you like. Uh, and the more you get used to this, you, you've got the, a lot of um, versatility in the, in the amount of effects that you want to apply and where and when and what size they are. The one I want to add is a little speech bubble uh, just by this, this girl here who's uh, a poster on the wall. Um, I don't know why I've just picked this particular part, sorry, uh, I may be lame, but I just want to show you uh, how to add this effect. You can edit the opacity there, which means how much you can see through your sticker. Um, you want to see a little bit of background if you ask me um, and the transform uh, section uh, allows you to rotate and resize your sticker so you can make this as big or small or whatever angle that you want there you can see you can move it with the R2 and L2 buttons um, you can rotate it and with the L1 and R1 you can make it as small or as big as you like uh, I want to reposition it here, uh, perhaps not the best place, but I'd l rather it sort of looked like it was appearing to come from her from her head, but uh, I can't really go any higher on the screen. 
But uh, once you're happy with it, you just press the X button to sort of apply it. That's where the tick highlights. Uh, I would like to see a, sort of a, an apply stat. So you have to back out to be able to add uh, another effect. So again, go back to add effects, and you've got all these options again. This time I want to go and add uh, a section of text. Now it has to be small enough to fit in the box. Um, but of course, if you resize your, your previous sticker, um, you can sort of get a good idea of uh, what size text you want to pick. Uh, in this case, uh, I have chosen the, the smallest font, and I'm typing uh, using the, the, the normal selection on the keyboard, which again is blocked out by the Share Factory app. That's just a privacy setting. Um, the text I want to show, you can choose the color, as I've just shown you, of your text. Of course, this is a white background, so I've chosen a black uh, font color and I'm just going to put this message at the top and you can apply, I would recommend applying these in sections because obviously you want to if you apply your entire sentence it would just be one string of text um, and it won't fit inside your your sticker that you applied earlier so uh, here's the second part of that uh, sentence and just typing it out then you can again go to the transform option which allows you to change it but of course it allows you just to move it or you can um, you can change the color or whatever put that in the same section you do have to click extra apply and I don't know why it quite takes you back to the same screen all you need to do is back out at this point back away from the the edit F, edit FX excuse me section and it allows you to move on to your next screen so uh, just to show you how that plays out, that whole section there, that one clip that we trimmed earlier, the split, sorry, uh, if you play it through a normal pace like that, shows you uh, the text popping up, and as soon as that split clip has ended, that edited text that we've added, that speech bubble, the sticker, the text, the effects in general, uh, also come to an end. That is a powerful tool, guys. You, you really will be using that an awful lot. The split clip technique adding your effects just for that section of that split clip is your key to adding these little pop-ups you see them all over YouTube all the time okay so obviously obviously my guy was fixated on that poster for a moment so I just want to add a little thought bubble this time again reduce the opacity it's nice to see a little bit of the game um, behind anything you add in terms of an effect if that's what you want to do of course you can have an entire speech bubble running through your in, in the, the entire video and you can add the text as you like as uh, as and when you like make sure you split the clips though that will only, that is the only thing that will allow you to change your text at intervals in the game so just typing this out sorry again you can't quite see what i'm typing again that's just a uh, protection thing I don't quite know why they do it what's the harm in you guys seeing exactly what I'm typing I don't know but it's something it's some content that um, the share factory app doesn't allow you to record on screen believe me I am typing this of course it's not magic mm. it's uh, just Sony wanting to keep their techniques to themselves no doubt hopefully they'll bring out more of these fonts more of these stickers themes the, there's a Last of Us theme just come out, so uh, it all looks good. Right, so if we just play through that last clip at normal speed, you can see your little speech bubble pops up, and your, your other thought bubble pops up, and you move on to the next section. Uh, so remember earlier on I added a another split there just after I died. This is just another way of showing you, similar to the previous video, how to add a transition. But not all transitions need to be this seamless fade or a, or a nice effect from one clip to another just to kind of break it down. You can add, in a way, it's like adding another effect to a moment in your video uh, just to add an additional uh, feature for your viewers. So you can pick the explosion, uh, which I've just done there. You can see as I died, just hamming it up, really. And again, play through that whole section. See the final part. And uh, sorry, I might just fast forward this on a little bit just to get to the, uh, the part where I showed you that extra transition. And nice boom, there we go. Okay, I am dead. And uh, although thoroughly embarrassed, 
I will endeavor to do better next time, guys. Okay, so enjoy this video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, like or comment. I'll be back with the next video in this tutorial series. Thank you and good night.